making a few changes to the old vice bench here. If you haven't seen this bad boy, well, you'll see it in all its glory, in its revised glory, if you watch uh, to the end of this video. I think there was a bunch of things that allowed me to start making way better axe handles. But, I mean, one of the biggest ones is this vice bench. It has really allowed me to do just about every single axe handle and hatchet handle I've done since I made it. Getting vintage handles to uh, use as templates, that was also very important. Um, but really, this haphazardly put together tool, this low bench with legs that fall out whenever they want, and a vice that's attached with wooden nails has, you know, improved improved my ability, my skills, my experience by a hundred. Because it was put together pretty haphazardly and with wooden nails, I'm going to do some regular maintenance with it. This time, I finally decided to improve the goddamn thing. We'll discuss that in a bit. First, I got to make some wooden nails. So I can attach this goddamn vice bench again, because I broke the other ones. I devised something a little different here. So I stand over here at the uh, 4x36, and I turn it into reverse, this drill. I get this just, uh, you know, just so it's in, and it holds. Just get it tight. Um, then I use this little thing to hold it there. And this was all made really quickly. I hope you could see all this. All right, let's uh, give this a go. So making a wooden nail this way is different. You don't need the you don't need to drill a hole in the top. You just control by the angle of where it's at on the sandpaper how um, extreme the taper is. Got so maybe if you're standing on the other side it doesn't matter, but when you're um, you'd be tightening a screw um, if you put it on this way. So tightening when you do it this way, it grabs and gets stuck. So I've turned in reverse, and that's what works for me without grabbing. Unfortunately, my camera ran out of space and I missed uh, 
footage of putting in the first uh, wooden nail. I do have some good news though. I'm pregnant. That's not a handful of calzones. That's a baby. It's not all rainbows and sunshine though. Uh, unfortunately, the baby is into knives. Not just any knives. Folding knives. You might be able to see that other line to the right of this one. Well, I decided that's a bad idea. I should give a should still have a little bit of a platform there. One reason why I put this piece of plywood down that I don't think I explained in this video uh, is because it was just such a rough piece of uh, riven lumber. This is American Suicum, which you're not supposed to be able to rive, but apparently I did it and it wasn't too tough. But the way that it split out was almost corrugated and not in a good way not in the smooth way so there's some deep kind of furrows in it and putting this uh plywood down took away the need to joint it at all so just very low amount of work that i did to to make this which makes me happy i love being able to make a tool without you know thinking I'm a NASA engineer. I'm not a NASA engineer. I'm a slob. I like making things that way sometimes, especially if they're super functional. It just makes me so happy when something's ugly as fuck, but works better than anything I ever used before. Since I moved some of the plywood that had some wooden nails in it, I got to uh, get some more in there. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just using uh, one of the old ones, putting it in the new part. Well, putting it right where I put that shim. It was a little bit uneven, so I just shimmed it. I used the shim I had already been using, so it was convenient. I still have one piece left to go. We'll do this way, one the old-fashioned way, with a draw knife. See how this all works. All right. Now I'm only holding on, but by two wood nails right now, so just keep that in mind. Yeah, this one's cracked too. I can see. Did it just move? No, not really. It does want that third nail though, which I'm a little surprised about. All right. So once you see the dip in the in the top right there, that means you're closer to what the uh, drill bit size is. Go to another side. Not using my soft vice uh, jaws right now, soft vice jaws, because it just doesn't matter. This also doesn't need to be very perfect. You'd be surprised how wonky this can be. Yeah, this this piece of wood isn't very straight. So, let's see what we come up with at the end of here. I just want to demonstrate how fast these wooden nails can come together. And they do taper. These wooden nails do taper. They're not just one continuous line. I guess that's what makes it a nail, that it actually goes in with a friction fit. Yeah, I might have to be smart about this. Hopefully that wants to stay put. Now, you heard the cracking?
this isn't the sharpest draw knife right now, so. But you do have to, you know, this is polished at one point, so it is a pretty smooth edge. So, you know, pretty good. See if it fits all right. Ah, oh, I, I nailed this in kind of goofy. I shouldn't have done it like this. So I kind of nailed them in at an angle, and now this one's having trouble reaching. So let's see what happens. Worst case scenario, you just drill through the broken nail. All right, so that's good. Let's cut it off and hit it some more. Um, about right here. See what I mean by how imperfect? Alright, I'm happy with that. Let's check. Oh yeah, that's on, that's on, you know, more than a uh, 100 year family feud. That is on. That thing is on. Alright, uh, just before I sign off, let's give this a more of a try. See how sturdy it is. kind of a big face right here oh, 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 oh it feels good it feels very good now that's the nut that's the nut in the swivel um being loose yeah I actually didn't even tighten this <laughs> I'm an idiot I didn't even tighten this thing the nut is loose though it's just so worn from uh, being used so many times Wow, this feels very secure. The only thing about the metal is that you have to watch your draw knife. You can't go down. You can only go so far. And, uh, you, you know, you have to worry about it. With a shave horse, you don't have to worry about it. But I believe this is more versatile than a shave horse. Because a shave horse is only clamping like this. This can clamp this way, this way. You know, it can clamp all kinds of ways. <laughs> it can clap too. Um, yeah, here, check out this. Check out this beautiful white oak. Oh man, that looks like it was planed. Not flat like it was planed. <laughs> Tell you that. Let's do the other side. Let's just clean you know, it. Make it pretty. Make it pretty. Look at the medullary race, my god. I'm just getting rid of them. There we go. Wow, look at that. Look at the medullary rays on that bad boy. It is funny how you have to look at different angles. When I first discovered <laughs> oak, it wasn't really discovery, but for me it was. I was very ignorant. I didn't have anybody show me the stuff, so I started working wood uh, out of raw you know, timber. And I was like, look at this. I call this holographic oak. I had no idea what the fuck I was talking about. Very embarrassing.